All right, you guessed it. We're going to talk about pens for a minute today. And I am in by no means an expert at all on pens. I know what I like in a pen. I know what other people like in a pen. And I know you can go nuts crazy, crazy with pen prices. And we're more talking about the tactical pens, if you will. Not, I mean, I know there are like fancy pens, Mont Blanc and a bunch of other ones up in the thousands and thousands of dollars for pens. What you see here probably adds up to about a thousand, maybe. I don't know. Um, some are mine. Some are my buddy Joseph's. So we're going to talk about that. So I like to carry a pen. I've carried a pen for a long time. When I worked back in the food industry, fast food, way back in my early or my late teens, early 20s, I always just had a pen in my pocket. Then I kind of went into an office setting and I always had a pen. Um, there was just always something to do. In today's world, 2023, it's mostly digital on your phone, on your computer. We're not writing much anymore. I do. I have a notebook next to my keyboard and I make notes in that all the time because it's just easier for me. And the pen that sits by my notebook right now is this tactile turn side click pen that I like, but it's not good for carrying outside for me because of the way I carry and the push button on top. My normal daily carry pen used to be this titanium ZT, which I love. Very cool. It just pops off. The cap will post on the end and is very comfortable writing utensil. More recently, I have gone to the Titanium Tactile Turn uh, bolt action pen. I really do like this pen. It works great in my pocket. Um, I carry it in my back right hand pocket next to my phone. Um, it just works well. Doesn't have the push button on the top. So I can push it in and out of my pocket easily, and it works great. Benchmade anodized aluminum pen I just had to have, bought it for my buddy Eric. All right, so let's talk about the ones that are here today. This is a Honey Badger pen, a company I had never heard of until my buddy Joseph sent me this one, or he told me he was sending it to me, and then I was like, Honey Badger? I've done some knife reviews on Honey Badger knives, but that's a totally different place. This is the, um, what is it? I have the paperwork right here. It is a uh, brass. It's okay. It's pretty cool. These are relatively budget-friendly. $60, $80, $50. Bucks. Like, they've got a variety of pens. This one, I believe, is a... <laughs> Left-handed pen, if you can believe such a thing. I know that because Tactile Turn offers left-handed pens where the bolt is on the opposite side of the clip. So I'm guessing, and knowing Joseph, who is left-handed, this is probably meant to be a left-handed pen. Okay, I didn't know that was such a thing until I was looking at a new pen for myself. So what's cool about this pen is a couple things. The pricing is very cool. I'm not gonna go into a whole review with the weights and the sizes. Yeah, screw that. I, there, there are other people that do good pen reviews. Nick Shabazz has done a bunch of pen reviews. I, uh, go check him out if you wanna know more about pens. I don't, I just, we're just chatting here. It comes with a spacer so that you can use um, Parker or, uh, what is it, Fisher or Parker's. And it kind of gives you a diagram here on the back of the packing slip where to put the spacer and how it works, which I think is cool so that you can choose what ink you want. That's the other beauty of these aftermarket pens like this is you can buy a cartridge of whatever you like, right? So this is a Pilot um, G2 ink, which I like that style of ink. I like the, um, the tip. I like the way it flows. I like the way it writes. You may not like that. You may like something different. Well, with most all of these pens, 
you can choose what ink cartridge you want and you can mix it up and change it. This particular one here is a tactile turn pen. Um, this is the short slim that Joseph also sent me. This one is in all zirconium. He has changed the ink to be right in the rain pen or ink. So he actually is a law enforcement officer and this is his duty pen. He carries this in his vest uh, daily. So it's a bit marked up. He told me to carry it. I've carried it some. I don't like the right in the rain ink because I don't have that necessity or, or drive. Um, I like the slimness of this and that's why he sent it to me is I do like that, but they don't offer this style clip in the slim pen. You have to go with this. And I just don't like the way that works in my pockets. I do want a zirconium pen. So I will be ordering a standard zirconium bolt action pen. And they're like 300 bucks. And then I will be fancy and do for 20 bucks the Timascus bolt uh, thing, handle. Yeah. Pens are fun. Pens can be addicting. I, you know, and just for comparison, here's your standard Bic pen, like just that everybody knows about. Pens can be something that you can go down a rabbit hole. You can get crazy pens. You can get different uh, clips from like Steel Flame and have a big skull here on the clip. Like you can do some crazy stuff with pens. I'm trying not to go there. This was bad enough that I bought this for a hundred and something, or I bought this for 200 because it was all titanium. It was right before they discontinued this model. Um, I got this one on sale from Joseph. He gave me a deal on this one for like, I don't know, remember? Like, so yeah, I've spent about a hundred and something bucks on each pen. The, the, the zirconium one is going to be about $300. That will be my most expensive pen but I really want a nice black pen and I love the way this writes. I love the way I hold it. I just love the feel of it. It works great in my pocket and it's just a great pen. So if I can get one that's in zirconium, just that much cooler. So I don't know. What do you guys think about pens? And since we're talking about pens, here's a Sharpie just because I always bring out the Sharpie for the size comparisons. Um, I'm going to put a link to Honey Badger website down below because it's and a tactile turn um, down below just in case. I have nothing to do with either of them, but I wanted to kind of showcase those two because that's what Joseph sent in for this discussion. Um, and it's a, a, a video I've wanted to do for a couple of weeks, but just hadn't gotten to it. And I don't feel as though I'm an expert in pens. So I'm a little bit more hesitant to do pen videos, but I also do like to talk about stuff. So you can see here is the uh, spacer I was talking about for this style of ink. For this one, you would use uh, the same spacer. This one actually has a spacer on the ink itself. So you can customize this one to suit your needs, which I think is pretty cool. It has a little aluminum spacer here to kind of hold the ink in the tube better. O-ring sealed, that's a pretty common thing with all of these brands. Has an O-ring there to seal it. So I just, I think having a good quality pen for any normal person is a thing. If you're in law enforcement, Having a nice pen, I don't think you're going to get into fights. You're not going to be like John Wick and start, you know, defending yourself with a pen. My older brother was in law enforcement for 30 years-ish, and he just bought a bunch of these, a box of these every year, and that's what he used. He lost them, used them, got new ones, and away you go. He never, he, he kind of scoffs at the tactical pen nomenclature because they're not tactical it's just a writing utensil. I like a metal pen because it's not going to break in my pocket when I'm sitting on it all day types of things. For me, that just works. 
Let me know what works for you. And uh, yeah, if you made it this long, <laughs> thanks. I know, just kind of rambled on this one, but I appreciate it. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.